This video will walk you through how to create a program template with sections in My Language Labs and is geared towards language program coordinators or individual instructors who would like to manage their courses through the My Language Labs administration functionality. First, you will need to make sure that you have instructor access to the My Language Labs program. To request instructor access, you can contact your Pearson representative or from www.mylanguagelabs.com, you can click on Educator and follow the prompts. If you already have access, please sign into your account at www.mylanguagelabs.com and click Sign In. Enter your username and password and choose Sign In. After you enter your username and password, you'll be brought to your Pearson portal page called My Courses and Test Bank. From the My Courses and Test Banks page, click on Create a Course. From here, you may choose to search by textbook or browse the catalog by discipline. To quickly search by textbook, type in the name of the textbook you are using. Note you may also search by ISBN or author. Let's type in a popular Spanish title called Arriba. Then click Next at the bottom of the page to complete the search. To browse by discipline, from the drop-down options list, simply scroll through the list to find your target language. Let's choose Spanish and click Next. Both of these options will provide you with all the content and course materials that correlate to your textbook, including the complete e-text when available. Once you find your text, you are going to have two options for every title we have available inside our My Language Labs catalog. You will see Select Course and Select Program. Both of these options will provide you with all the content and course materials that correlate to your textbook, including the complete e-text when available. Please note, if you are an instructor who would like to create one or two individual courses off the catalog for quick and easy access, choose Select Course. This particular video, however, is going to walk you through the steps of creating a program. We do have a separate video on how to select course and the options provided by that selection. The Select Program option is geared toward instructors or coordinators of a language program managing multiple sections of the same textbook who would like to set up a template or master course from which to create additional sections. This option offers you program administration ability where you can initially quote design your template by assigning activities and preferences in your template prior to creating the sections. You can have other instructors, TAs, GAs, and adjuncts enroll in the sections you create and manage. Your template will appear upon login on the Courses and Test Banks page where you can click on the given template to access all created sections. You can have other instructors, TAs, GAs, and adjuncts enroll into the sections you create and manage. Your program, including template and sections, will appear upon login on the Courses and Test Banks page where you can click on the given link to access all created sections. I'm going to choose Select Program and now name the program. Please keep in mind the name of the program cannot be changed later. Because your template will be used over multiple semesters, we recommend that you keep this name very general, such as Spanish 101, Introductory Spanish 101. When you're done, you can click Finish and you'll be brought back to your My Courses and Test Banks page where you will see a link called Spanish 101. Click on the link to access your program administration area. Notice the message saying that your template creation request is being processed and will be available soon. Remember, within your template, you will be able to load assignments due for a grade to the course calendar, set preferences, upload your own customized material, configure the gradebook, change any settings and preferences, in order to standardize and create consistency for all live courses or sections created under this master template. Once you are finished working on your template, you'll be able to create your actual live courses or sections. Remember, your template is not a live course or section, and no one else can see this template except you. You will want to do all your customizing in your template because once you create sections from the template, you will need to manage each section individually from that point forward. In other words, your original master template and each copied section are now completely separate from one another. 
Only once you have the template set up exactly the way you would like it should you create your live courses or section. We recommend that you utilize the My Language Labs toolkit to explore common default settings and preferences as you configure your course. You can access this toolkit by going to mylanguagelabs.com under Educators and Administrators Get Trained Planning Toolkit. After you are fully satisfied with your template design and you are ready to create sections from your template, from the Manage Templates page, click on Sections. Then click Add Sections. Name your section or live course in a fashion that your students and any instructor enrolling in the section will see and quickly recognize. Note you may edit the name of the sections after they are created by adding specific section numbers as indicated on your institution's schedule of classes or instructor names, days, and time of course, etc. One example is to put Spanish 100 section and the My Language Labs program will automatically do the numbering for you. Again, you can edit this once the sections are created. From the drop-down option on the content template, choose the template from which you would like to create the section or sections. Then input the number of sections you would like to create, keeping in mind you can come back later and correct, create more sections. I will type in five. Select your start and end dates of these sections while keeping in mind that the start and end dates will co coincide with the students and other instructors access to that particular live course. A best practice for the start date is to use the very day you create the sections as your start or launch date. Your sections will then be live and students as well as other instructors may enroll as soon as you provide them with the unique course ID that corresponds to the course they are taking or teaching. The end date will also coincide with the moment the student will no longer have access to that particular course. You, as the program administrator will always have access to your course materials at the section level regardless of the start and end dates. This date can also be adjusted in the future after you've created your sections. Consider setting the end date after final exams so students will have the ability to use the course materials in order to prepare and review. You may also add a brief description if you'd like. This description would also be seen by students and any instructor enrolling to teach that particular section. When you are finished, click Add and Close. When creating the section, the processing should only take a few moments. You can try refreshing the page or logging out and back in, and soon your section should be listed. Every section that you create in your program will have its own specific course ID. If you are the coordinator assigning sections to instructors and having them enroll, you will need to give each instructor their specific section course ID. Once the instructors enroll in their assigned sections, you'll see their names listed here under instructor. If you are teaching a course yourself this semester and you will not have any other instructor enrolled, the instructor indicator will continue to say none enrolled. Because you created this section in your account, you are automatically the instructor until the assigned instructor enrolls into it. Your students will still see you as the instructor. If you are the instructor teaching multiple sections, you'll need to give this course ID to your students so they can enroll and register into your course. Once an instructor does enroll into your course as the coordinator, you will still be able to open and make any changes into the specific sections as needed. Instructors will also be able to apply any settings or changes as an instructor in their individual sections. Instructors only have access to the sections that they are teaching via the course ID you give them. You are the only one that will have this program administrative view and be able to look at all the sections under one template. To edit any of the section information at any time, including the name of the section, the start and end dates, or the description, simply hover your mouse over the name of the section title and use the options area and choose Edit Section Information. As you prepare for the next term or semester, keep in mind you may choose to copy a given section as a new section 
or as a template. By using the Options drop-down menu available to the right of each section title. When you copy, all the assignments, settings, preferences, customizations, and document uploads will transfer to your new copy. This functionality is especially helpful if you have made revisions or changes in a particular section during the semester and you would like to maintain and transfer to the next semester. Note, student information and grades, as well as assignments due, will not copy over. As the coordinator, you can edit each section title to include the last name of the instructor who is teaching that section. This is a great best practice. This should facilitate your management of multiple courses. Again, hover your mouse over the section and choose Edit Section Information. Type in the name of the instructor or edit any other information about that section. Repeat this process for each section. Be sure to click Update when you're finished. The edits will immediately update and be saved. As the coordinator or instructor, in order to open or access any section, simply click on the title. Remember, as the coordinator, you are able to come into each section and manage that particular course. The instructor who enrolls in that course will also have the same exact functionality and be able to manage their course on their own. In other words, as a default, any instructor that enrolls will have full instructor access to that particular section and will have access to course settings and preferences and will be able to completely customize the section as they see fit. To return back to your list of sections when you're in a specific section you created, you can always click the Home button toward the upper right of your screen and it will bring you back to your program. To enter a template, go to the Templates tab and simply click on the name of the template or hover over your mouse and choose Enter Template as Instructor to be able to access the template as well. Remember, after the sections are created, any changes you make to your template will not automatically flow to the sections. Make all changes in the sections themselves. This concludes how to create your My Language Labs program template with sections.